Alisa Boskanovic operates as a member of Yggdrasil, the rebel army led by Lars Alexanderson. Recently, the frequency with which Lars graced her thought processes seemed rather illogical to the android. Amidst her ruminations, the King of Iron Fist Tournament was announced to choose the next head of the Mishima Zaibatsu. Once Lars decided to join, Alisa was adamant about participating in the tournament herself. Asuka Kazama returned to the Kazama-style traditional martial arts dojo to find it completely changed. Lily had purchased the property and decided to renovate the entire building with the rose ornamentation that she loved so much. However, Lily was willing to restore the dojo to its former appearance if Asuka could defeat her at the King of Iron Fist tournament. Upon seeing the message, Asuka decided to join the upcoming tournament swearing to take back her dojo. ほんまやな。絶対優勝したる。ふう。やっと道場も元通りやな。門下生も早く戻ってくるとええな。そういえばあのお嬢様、あれ以来姿を現しとらんけど。今頃どこで何しとるんやろな。ウッス。エクスキューズモア。出た。って何やこれ。J'ai Royal pour pouvoir crier victoire. Maintenant. Battons-nous. Ah, bon, y'a quoi, tu? Ma Eva. Takatiki. Je vais me venger pour le tournoi. Asasena Milagros Ortiz Castillo manages Ortiz Farm, a producer of quality coffee beans in Peru. Believing a PR campaign would revive her flagging business, the young proprietor slammed into the American MMA scene like a comet falling to Earth. After her debut, Azucena saw the King of Iron Fist Tournament as a means to maintain her trajectory of success. Given the countless products she'd come up with during her bouts, she decided to join the tournament and further Ortiz Farm's global expansion. Nada mejor que luchar para inspirar el desarrollo de nuevos productos. During the tournament, Azucena met the tea-loving socialite, Lily. Even after the tournament concluded, the pair would continue to clash in heated debate, a feud between coffee and tea. Il faut du thé pour clore un repas. Ce thé Rochefort rose cultivé sur nos terres est absolument divin. 
¿De qué hablas? Es obvio que es café. Nuestra mezcla de azucena es la mejor. Oye, ¿cuál crees que es el mejor? No parece interesarle ninguno de los dos. ¡Ah! ¡Ya sé! ¿Qué tal si los mezclamos juntos? J'ai entendu parler d'une boisson de ce genre en Asie. Alors, c'est de l'appropriation culturelle. Ay, no seas anticuada. Aquí hay un pequeño extra. ¡Tarán! ¿Qué tal esto? Te apuesto que funcionará. Mi inspiración nunca me falla. ¿Eh? ¿Ah? <risa> Sabía que sería bueno. Azucena would go on to sell this drink to global acclaim. A replicant containing a perpetual motion machine, Brian Fury is a berserker who stops at nothing to get what he wants. Having rampaged across the world's battlefields, the recent dearth of large-scale combat left the replicant yearning for such savage thrills. While searching for a new challenge, Brian heard of the King of Iron Fist tournament to select a new head of the Mishima Zaibatsu. Brian rushed to join the fray, seeing the tournament as the perfect opportunity to realize his goal, a world dominated by violence. practitioner of an ancient exorcist group known as the Sirius Marksmen. One day he was visited by Zafina, a mysterious woman with an evil aura emanating from her left hand. The young warrior beseeched Claudio to help her destroy the creature sealed within her arm, Azazel, the original devil. Hearing that the devil gene's progenitor would soon resurrect, the exorcist vowed to defeat Azazel and the rest of his ilk. Demoni repugnanti, la luce di Sirio vi purificherà! Terribile calamità è stata annientata. Creature maledette, sprofondate nell'oscurità per sempre. Jin Kazama, once consumed by devil's blood, declared war on the world as head of the Mishima Zaibatsu. 
Deeming Jean to be a high-risk target, the UN forces moved to annihilate Lars Alexanderson's rebel army that was providing him with shelter. An orbital strike launched from a satellite annihilated the rebel army hideout, and his protectors fell one after another. The UN's actions enraged Jin, causing him to lose control and set the devil loose in pursuit of vengeance. <laughs> Angel of Death, Sergei Dragunov is feared around the world for his prowess in battle. As the conflict between G Corporation and the Mishima Zaibatsu enveloped the planet in chaos, he received new orders. Enter the King of Iron Fist tournament and seize control of the Mishima Zaibatsu for himself. Dragunov assented with his usual cold and detached demeanor and set out to join the tournament. <sighs> the Mishima Zaibatsu, as well as its myriad assets, were placed under the supervision of Dragunov's homeland, and thus the White Angel of Death was finally given a brief yet well-deserved respite. <laughs> Очередная кампания пала жертвой глобального экономического кризиса, вызванного действиями корпорации G. Всемирно известное издательство объявило о банкротстве. All-powerful, Feng Wei followed the teachings of the Shinken Scrolls, overcoming masters of various styles. Despite his intensive studies, he lost to the Wing Chun master Leroy Smith in the previous The King of Iron Fist tournament. There would be no progress until he managed to defeat Leroy. Thus, Feng entered the new tournament when it was announced. Defeat all other masters and conquer their styles. The perfect warrior transcends all to become the Dragon God. So say the Shinken Scrolls. <laughs> Feng Wei defeated Leroy Smith, then claimed victory at the tournament. Yet the Kempo Master felt no conceit, devoting himself to reaching even greater heights.
Bad sugar. What were you doing, sugar? The Taekwondo master, Huarang, remained determined to settle the score with his longtime rival, the missing Jean Kazuma. He went to the Middle East in search of Jean, where he found and fought him in his devil form. But UN interference caused Huarang to lose sight of him. He returned home and resumed training, only to hear of the Mishima Zaibatsu announcing the next entry in the King of Iron Fist tournament. Jean was still nowhere to be found, but Huarang joined the tournament without a hint of hesitation. <laughs> performance tests, Jack-7 was officially adopted as the main humanoid weapon of G Corporation. Amidst the mass production of Jack-7s, Jane threw herself into the development of a new model, featuring revolutionary specs befitting a next-gen machine. Just as her work was to come to fruition, the Mishima Zaibatsu announced the next entry in the King of Iron Fist tournament. Jane completed Jack-8's combat data collection and made the final adjustments for the new machine to enter the tournament. Go get him, my sweet Jack! Collect data on their battle movements and power up! <laughs> the winner is... Jack-8! A new era has begun! The tournament ends with Jack-8 as the victor. My Jack is the best! You look so cruel, Jack! Okay, let's check the data you collected. First, Lee Chao Lan. Next is Steve Fox. Finally, Elisa Bosganovich. driven by the devil's blood in his veins, plunged the world into chaos and conflict as head of the Mishima Zaibatsu. In order to control the devil within him, Jean headed home to Yakushima, where an unbelievable reunion awaited him. It was the woman who went missing due to Ogre's assault several years prior, his mother, June Kazuma. Reunited with his mother once more, Jean began a journey of spiritual training to face his inner psyche and prepare for the battles ahead. Oh, 
さないかかと落としに来たら左に避けて撃つ昼の時間よ。今日はこのことね。<笑>残さず食べるのよ。Kazuma faced the mighty ogre in Yakushima, where she narrowly escaped death by fleeing to the Kazuma Sanctum. As she drifted in and out of consciousness, she was overcome with scenes of a deadly struggle between her beloved Kazuya Mishima and son Jin Kazuma. Upon waking from her long nightmare, Jun realized her visions were a reflection of how the pair stood in the real world. She set off for Italy to put an end to this quarrel between father and son. Mishima defeated Heihachi Mishima, the head of the Mishima Zaibatsu, and put an end to their protracted rivalry. Heihachi disappeared after losing the match against Kazuya, and without a head, the Mishima Zaibatsu spiraled into crisis. To elect a new head of the organization, the group announced it was holding a new entry in the King of Iron Fist tournament. This was the chance that Kazuya had been waiting for the chance to achieve total world domination. <laughs> 世界を滑るのが誰なのかきっちりと刻み込んでくれる。今まで戦いに彩られていたあいつと知り合ったのもとある戦いのさなかだ闘争が日常である俺の周りに弱者は必要ないそしてこいつはうん強いそれだけだ次<笑>俺は全てを手に入れる<笑> King, the undisputed pro wrestling champion, ran an orphanage that rescues children from all over the world. However, due to the war between G Corporation and the Mishima Zaibatsu, the orphanage was already well beyond capacity. The troubled wrestler then remembered the recently announced the King of Iron Fist tournament and came up with a plan. In order to find collaborators for his project, King put his name forward for the tournament. 
What? Did you come to rub it in? Or do you still want to fight? The Mixed Martial Arts Special Charity Match is about to begin! King, Steve Fox. There's the bell to start the match! Ooh, Steve rushes in right up the bat. King rides instinctively, but here comes the snake charmer. This feels more like a real fight than a charity match. Get ready to fly. A blurry combo for Steve. King shows off some clever work, though. And it's a round out body press. A roar from King. Has the table turned? But Steve counters. Mishima's pet, and an enthusiastic member of the Mishima Zaibatsu's prize Tekken force. But his master Heihachi fell in battle against his son Kazuya Mishima, and his fate remained a mystery. The now headless Mishima Zaibatsu announced anew the King of Iron Fist tournament to select a new head of the organization. Kuma vowed to win the tournament to keep Heihachi's ambition alive and to fulfill his own dream. Anderson had risen in revolt against the Mishima Zaibatsu, forming the rebel army Igerso. He bolstered his forces to oppose the Mishima Zaibatsu and G Corporation. The immense power struggle that unfolded between these two massive conglomerates had brought the world and its people to the very brink of annihilation. Soon thereafter, he heard the announcement of the King of Iron Fist Tournament to select the next head of the Mishima Zaibatsu. Lars resolved to join the tournament and gain the authority he needed to put an end to the global pandemonium. G Corporation forces are trying to take over the world, but we of the Rebel Army refuse to let that happen on our watch. We've gathered state-of-the-art flying boats in good number. So too do we have the latest weaponry. One for you, and one for you too. There's plenty of fun to be had as well. You're certain to have the time of your life. Come, we want you to join the Rebel Army. Join now and we will provide a high-performance battlesuit when you enlist. There's no need to worry about raids from G-Corp. We have reliable allies on our side. 
Captain Alisa Boskonovich. Join us in our fight for freedom. Commander Lars Alexanderson. いや、最高の演技だったよ、ラース。<笑><笑> The struggling dojo owner, Martial Law, was up to his neck in debt. He searched far and wide for a skilled instructor to help him restore the dojo, but all his efforts were in vain. Then, upon returning home, he found that his precious dojo had been seized as collateral for his debts. He then heard of the latest The King of Iron Fist tournament and learned that control of the Mishima Zaibatsu was on the line. Left with no other options, Law prepared to unleash his fighting spirit and get his hands on the Mishima Zaibatsu's deep coffers. The prize is mine! What's wrong, sidekick? You've been contacted by the UN. In regards to the wars caused by Mishima Zaibatsu, they've sent you a bill for damages. Huh? What? What the? run by Li Chao Lan had reached a turning point with its next-gen battlesuits. Despite their excellent performance and myriad features, they would require the use of live field tests to advertise their appeal before they could begin a global rollout. Around this time, news reached the company president's ears. The announcement of the next The King of Iron Fist tournament organized by the Mishima Zaibatsu. Li had been looking for a way to make an effective PR push and decided to enter the tournament to do just that. Now the head of the Mishima Zaibatsu, he began mass producing the next gen battlesuit he used in the tournament. These suits were used to put an end to the war, boosting his influence even further. <笑>ついに世界の頂点に立ったぞ。マスター、お知らせが一件ございます。こういう時は昨日聞いた報告を聞きたいものだ。先ほど我がバイオレットシステムズの平和維持活動部隊が地球にある各所で甚大な被害が
Unfortunately, Leo heard the news of the King of Iron Fist tournament that would decide the new head of the Mishima Zaibatsu. As the head of the organization, Leo's father's safety could be secured and they could remain together. So Leo decided to join the tournament. Halt durch, Papa. Ich verspreche dir, ich werde gewinnen. Papa, ich glaube, wir haben einen unglaublichen archäologischen Fund gemacht. Da hast du recht. Sei vorsichtig. Was? Was hast du getan, Papa? Ich habe ihn nur ganz kurz berührt. Was ist denn, Papa? Lauf! Das sind Sachen vom Kaliber kostorikanischer Steinkugel! Was sollen wir tun? Die Ruinen stürzen ein! Nichts als ein bedauerlicher Unfall. Das bleibt unter uns. Leo, hier kommen wir raus! Lauf, Papa! Smith was extolled as a hero for freeing New York from the clutches of gangs backed by the Mishima Zaibatsu. The Wing Chun master moved to crush the Mishima Zaibatsu himself, but the news of Heihachi Mishima's disappearance circulated throughout the world. Afterward, the Mishima Zaibatsu announced the King of Iron Fist tournament to select the new head of the organization. Sensing another chance to dismantle the conglomerate once and for all, Leroy pledged to win the tournament. Man, what a stubborn bunch. Now's the time for a good cleanup. <laughs> I was surprised to see you at the tournament. The last time I saw you was on the streets of Hong Kong. What do you say we spar again? King of Iron Fist tournament was held. Lily lost to her eternal rival, Asuka Kazuma. The Roche 4 heiress devoted herself to training, waiting for a chance at a rematch to regain her lost honor. One day, news of the tournament to decide the next head of the Mishima Zaibatsu reached Lily's ears. Seeing her rival's name on the roster, she went behind her father's back to enter the tournament and put her Asuka countermeasures to good use. Tu vas voir ce que tu vas voir, Asuka Je vous promets à tous qu'en tant que chef de la Mishima Zaibatsu, je ferai de ce monde un monde meilleur. Merci infiniment. Bonjour, Maître Leroy. Les discours me rendent toujours nerveuse. Quoi <coughs> You're the head of Mishima Zaibatsu now. It's expected of you. En fait, je n'étais pas vraiment intéressé par le poste. <laughs> hey, you two. 
What are you two rich people talking about? If you're talking about ways to earn money, I want in. Au fait, ce café Smith. Oh, this? J'ai entendu dire hey, que ce n'était pas vraiment politique. Hey, don't leave me out. I have them let me go. Yeah! Yeah! Oh! Oh! C'était une bien belle danse. <rire> Comme je le pensais, le combat me sied beaucoup mieux. Je dois partir. Tu viens ça Nina Williams led the Tekken Force raid on the Rebel Army hideout to capture Jin Kazama, former head of the Mishima Zaibatsu. The raid was cut short due to the tactics of Lee Chao Ma, causing her to quit the Mishima Zaibatsu and return to her assassin for hire roots. One day she heard the announcement of a new The King of Iron Fist tournament to select the new head of the Mishima Zaibatsu. She stood on the sidelines at first, but a certain client asked her to join the tournament and handle all those who would side with G Corporation. The client is Lee Chao Lan. That man has some nerve. That was for blowing up the whole building. Consider us even now. searched all around the world in order to find the missing Jean Kazama. But Jean's trail went cold in the Middle East, and Panda did her best to console the heartbroken Xiao Yu. Just then, they learned of the latest The King of Iron Fist Tournament, and its goal to determine the next head of the Mishima Zaibatsu. Upon hearing the news, Panda decided to enter the tournament as well, in the hopes of helping Xiao Yu, who joined to look for Jin. How does it feel to be the head of the Mishima Zaibatsu? What's your first order of business? Is there anything you'd like to say to our viewers? Fighter in the universe, the passionate Paul Phoenix sought out any opportunity to test his might. Hearing rumors of an upcoming tournament that would definitely fit the bill, he journeyed high into the mountains to train with his good buddy, Martial Law. Just then, the King of Iron Fist tournament was officially announced in order to determine the next head of the Mishima Zaibatsu. 
parting with Long, Paul finished up his training and set out for the tournament with a crisp new edge to his punches. Victory is mine! Time to go pick up Long! and ninjutsu master tasked with special ops missions for the UN's independent force established by Victor Chevalier, codename Raven. In order to deal with the worsening chaos of current world affairs, Raven trained diligently under the master who taught Eastern martial arts to Victor. As he honed his fighting skills, the now headless Mishima Zaibatsu announced the King of Iron Fist Tournament. With his training complete, Raven decided to join the tournament in hopes of placing the Mishima Zaibatsu under UN control. Witness my evolved ninjutsu. Sorry to interrupt, sir. Te voilà. Quel combat incroyable. J'ai senti mon sang bouillir. Forgive me. What? Dead. What does this mean? Huh? How did that get there? Raven, tu commanderas désormais ton unité sous le nom de Code Great Raven. I'm honored. Il y a une dame qui m'attend. Continue de faire du bon travail. Tu es en charge du reste. Aye, aye, sir. Oh! Reina, the secret daughter of Heihachi Mishima, attended Mishima Polytechnical School. She loved and respected her father, whom she saw as a role model, but Heihachi vanished after his defeat by Kazuya Mishima. The now headless Mishima Zaibatsu put on the new The King of Iron Fist tournament in order to choose a new head of the organization. Reina entered the tournament to take over the Mishima Zaibatsu and carry on her father's legacy. ブーザーマだな。それが貴様に突きつけられた。世界の答えだ。
Shaheen received a request from a Monaco oil magnate to secretly protect his daughter from assassins sent by G Corporation. The organization was well known by him. He suspected their involvement in the death of the friend who bequeathed him his sword. Just then, his client said she was joining the King of Iron Fist tournament held by G Corp's adversary, the Mishima Zaibatsu. Shaheen decided that he too would join the tournament and headed to the arena with the sword of his late friend. فلتحذر جي كوربوريشن الآن لن أسمح لكم بالهرب بذلك بعد الآن Quand tu as surgi de nulle part, je ne pensais quand même pas être prise pour cible ici. Miyote, je te connais au moment d'un yaro. Ia, kakko yo katta wa. Koeta kana? Ya, koka? Le grand pan de la G Corporation a été arrêté. La personne qui t'a confié l'épée peut reposer en paix. Non, un petit mot. Que dirais-tu de prolonger ton travail de garde du corps à mes côtés Yame doki Koetsu no omori nanka karada ga ikutsu atte mo tarae wa Antuma fatatan mon teratan Oui, il faudrait avoir le crâne aussi épais que celui d'Asuka pour me protéger. Tenta Ima uchi no koto baka ni shita ro Upon discovering that his biological mother was Nina Williams, Steve Fox solved the mystery surrounding his origins. Having lost his purpose, a visit from sparring partners Paul Phoenix and Martial Law spurred the boxer toward a new goal. Fortunately, he heard news of the King of Iron Fist tournament that would decide the new head of the Mishima Zaibatsu. Steve decided to join the tournament with plans to use the Mishima Zaibatsu coffers in service of his new goal. I can't change the past, but I can forge my own future. This is his new gym. It's pretty nice. He is the organizer of the biggest boxing tournament in the world now, after all. Man, must be nice to be rich. With the Mishima Zaibatsu's assets at his disposal, Steve hosts a boxing tournament on a scale the likes of which had never been seen. First, he easily claimed the title of middleweight champion, followed by the super middleweight title, light heavyweight and then cruiserweight one after another the championship belts fell into his hands that belt means he's won four different weight divisions he really pummeled him <laughs> he's finally ready for the heavyweight champion next 
Yeah, I can't wait. Hey, Steve, we're here to bother you. Hey, is Steve here? Hmm? Yo, you too. Long time no see. <gasps> it's me. I'm totally ready. What? Victor Chevalier is the legendary founder of the UN's Independent Forces Unit and is known by his codename Phantom Raven. The Admiral worked tirelessly for world peace and to end the ever-expanding conflict between the Mishima Zaibatsu and G Corporation. Amidst his efforts, the King of Iron Fist Tournament was announced in order to choose the next head of the Mishima Zaibatsu. Believing a UN-controlled conglomerate could bring an end to the war, Victor took up his beloved Takemikazuchi blade and joined the tournament. Nous sommes les seuls à pouvoir contrôler l'équilibre des puissances de ce monde. Admiral Victor won and brought Mishima Zaibatsu under the UN's control, but the G Corporation hasn't stopped causing violence. Yeah, we're almost at the port. I hope nothing happens. Oh, speak of the devil. Ne tirez pas ici, imbécile. Je m'en charge. Et d'un. Et un autre. Merci. Et encore un. C'est le dernier. Occupez-vous de nettoyer ça. Je fais attendre une dame importante. Don't tell me he deployed a submarine to impress a woman. Is this normal in France? No. It's just him. Xiao Yu searched all around the world in order to find the missing Jean Kazama. Despite multiple reported sightings throughout the Middle East, his trails suddenly went cold, thereby preventing their reunion from happening. Around this time, she caught word of the latest the King of Iron Fist tournament and its goal of determining the next head of the Mishima Zaibatsu. Thinking her victory and access to the conglomerate's resources would help her track down Jean, Xiao Yu decided to enter the tournament. di Sirio.
Yoshimitsu, the head of the Manji clan, recently sensed an unknown voice calling out to him for reasons he did not quite understand. The voice grew louder by the day, until he finally realized it to be the voice of his sword, the cursed blade sharing his name. Yoshimitsu came to the conclusion that his blade must be resonating with some sort of sinister power. And so the chivalrous thief set out on a journey guided by his blade, in order to halt this evil at its source. the resurrected original devil had been sealed in Zafina's left arm several months prior, and yet the pulsation of his evil had grown stronger by the day. Zafino sought out Claudio Serafino, the most powerful practitioner of the serious marksman. The exorcist revealed that Azazel must materialize if he is to be destroyed completely. And so, Zafina embarked on a journey to bestow a temporary measure of strength to the demon. When you dared show your face again, Azazel, that was your demise. Power of the Devil, return to my left arm! Azazel, be sealed! The Devil's power has now been sealed inside this crystal. Claudio! The time is now! Demone immondo! Sparisci per sempre! Iria! journey.